Hi everyone, GD here. I'm glad you could join me today. Well, I've worked on two videos this week. Uh, the other one I'll probably be saving for next week, maybe in the middle of the week or something. That one's another currency search I was working on and found some interesting things in there. But with the price of silver down this week, I decided I was going to try and find some silver. Um, so I started looking at what I had on hand that needed to be filled in. And I came across my Morgan dollars. Uh, most of the Morgans that I have are going to be better, uh, better coins that are slab. But I do have a number of them that are um, raw coins that are really just culls and uh, lower grade coins. I, I've got this tube of peace dollars here. You could tell that you know, this 1923 is polished, it looks like. So, you know, I, I don't remember what's in here. I put this tube together quite a while ago, but uh, I would imagine most of them are all going to be uh, lower grade culls and stuff like that. I also had these two tubes of Morgans I was working on. Uh, this is 1921s. I had 15 of them in here that are extra fine to MS, and I had a tube that I had started of 1921s. Nine pieces are in here that are very good to very fine. So I thought this week I would go out and try and find something to finish filling these two tubes. Well, I didn't find anything that was uh, in the price range that I wanted to spend on those, but I did find a good buy on some uh, that are earlier dates. Now, I haven't started a tube of earlier dates. I want to finish these two tubes before I do. So I have a, um, a little coin box here with some slabbed Morgans and stuff that um, I have been putting on the side. I haven't had a chance to go through all these yet, so maybe eventually I will go through these and um, see if I've got enough to do a slab in here, or I mean a tube in here with the ones that I have left here. So in the meantime, what I'm probably going to do until I have more time is I am just going to put these into flips and put them in here and then at a later date see if I have enough to start a pre-1921 tube. Um, if not, I will just leave them in there until I finish these two tubes. But let me show you what I did pick up and these were all good buys. Um, yeah, they all have issues, but um, they are nice old Morgans that I got for a good buy. This one's in 1884. And I did look these over uh, quickly, so the grades that I'm going to say here are just rough grades because they really need a little bit more time for me to go over them correctly. But this one here looks like it's probably about a very fine 30, somewhere in that neighborhood. This is an 1884, as I said. Um, this one here is an 1885. Uh, I've got it down uh, as being very fine 35 details. There are some scratches going on over here. And I don't know if these were just rubbed with a polishing cloth or what it was, but um, some of these just have that look like, um, some of them look like they've been dipped and polished. Some of them look like they've been uh, just rubbed with a cloth or something. I don't know uh, what was going on here. This one here really does look like it's dipped. Um, it's got that frosty look to it, but I could be wrong on this particular one. Again, I just went over these really quickly. This one's in 1887, and um, if it hasn't been dipped or anything, if I'm not giving it a details, I, I would say it's probably about a very good 10. Can't imagine why anybody would bother dipping something in that grade, but this one here really does look like it is polished, maybe dipped and polished. Uh, this one here is in 1888. I, I'd say that it looks like it's about a, an extra fine 40 with details. It looks, as I say, it looks dips and, dipped and polished. Uh, so these are all great candidates for putting in a tube instead of, um, you know, doing anything special with them. This one here is an 1889. Again, it's got that kind of look to it like it may have been dipped. It's got that kind of little frosty look that um, sometimes dipping a coin too many times starts getting that look of, um, and then maybe wiped with a polishing cloth or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm just taking a guess at that, but it looks like it's probably an extra fine 45 details. Now this one, obviously, nobody's going to have fooled with a <clears throat> one that's this low. 
and this is a borderline slick is what this one is. Uh, this one here is an 1891 uh, O New Orleans, and it's about a good, somewhere, somewhere around a, a G4 probably on something like this. Um, I also picked up this one here, which is an 1899 uh, New Orleans O. This one looks like it's somewhere between a good and a very good, and it doesn't look like it's been fooled with. But again, who would fool with something that low? This one here does have that look like, I don't know, it, it just kind of looks like somebody has rubbed it or polished it or whatever, but I don't know. I, I'm just taking a guess on that because, again, I just picked them up and I just gave them a quick once over. This one here is a 1900, <clears throat> and the... Um, it, it looks like it's about an extra fine 40. I don't know. Uh, it might wind up being details. I'll have to look at that a little bit closer later on to see if that's a coin that's been polished or not, or rubbed with a cloth, actually. And then the last one I picked up was a 1901 New Orleans. This one looks like it's about a very good 10. So I picked up nine Morgan uh, dollars here that are all... 1901 and earlier. So that's a good start for another tube, but I don't want to start a partial tube like I have here. So I think what we're going to do is just put these into, I, I picked up some flips. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is probably just um, put these into some flips here and um, put them into this container here for now until I have a chance to do uh, take a better look at these here and um, decide how I'm going to proceed with them. But um, as I say, these were all good buy. These were actually in a bin at a dealer's uh, shop. Um, and what I thought was, you know, I, once in a while I watch these on eBay to see what's going on. And it looks like coins in this range here sell for $28 to $30 roughly plus the shipping. And I got these for 26 a piece. That's still six bucks above uh, where melt value is, basically. But, um, you know, considering what they have been selling for, I think that I did pretty good on them. Um, and I just wish I could have found more to have um, filled up these tubes. But... What they were looking for on those would have been in the 30s, and I wasn't looking to spend that kind of money for stuff. I was really just looking for uh, fillers for there. But anyway, I think this is going to be great. We're going to put these away in here, as I said, and um, I will go over them another day and uh, double check what I think is the grades on them and uh, then decide what kind of a tube I want to put them in if I wind up getting more. As you saw, I, I have those broken down into, those 21s there, I have broken down into different grades, and I want to keep it that way, um, with these being the extra fine to MS, and these being a little bit lower grade. Um, <clears throat> and that way, maybe one day I will be going through those, to uh, check them, this uh, better group that's here, I will be going through those to check them and find out if I want to take them out of there and put them into, um, into coin holders over here like this. I also love going through those 21s, which I haven't done in quite some time, uh, going through them and uh, looking for any VAMs that are there. Uh, in 1921, there is a lot of VAMs, so... Um, it's pretty easy to find VAMs. Most of them are going to be cracked dies and things of that nature, but um, it's kind of fun to go through them and see if you can identify uh, which particular VAMs they are. But anyway, there you have it, folks. I wound up getting nine new Morgan dollars here this past week. Didn't get anything for my tubes, but maybe next time. But in the meantime, um, at least I picked up a few that I thought were a fairly good buy. So, I'd love to hear if you guys been buying anything with the silver price down a little bit this past week and um, what kind of things you may have picked up. Okay, folks, until next time, happy hunting out there. This is GD saying have a great day.